Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Adrian Moore. We have team coverage tonight of what unfolded earlier today. CBS 13's Drew Bolea has much more now on how the Kings beefed up security, helped the game against the Pacers tonight go on without a hitch. This was an unusual setup. Typically, fans are able to walk right up to the front of the building without being asked about their ticket. But tonight, instead, they were screened near the street. Police in riot gear were waiting inside, but there was a different vibe compared to Tuesday night. It was much more positive. Like just before each home game, the drums welcomed fans. But there was a new sound the moment you stepped off the street and onto downtown Comets property. Tickets or passes over here, please. Only ticketed fans allowed past the first line of security. I'm glad that they're making arrangements so everybody can get into the game. Steel barricades crisscrossed the pathways that led to teams of uniformed officers ready for anything. Look like Robocops. <laughs> a sight never seen before at a Kings game had visiting fans also taken aback. It's kind of different. I mean, I'm not used to this much security. Having bought their tickets months ago, these guys were going to make the best of their trip. We just kind of kind of be on our toes and see what happens. One protester made it through initial security without a ticket before quickly being escorted out. For the most part, on the plaza, it was normal pregame pump up. You know I'm here for the Kings, baby! Some loyal Kings fans, upset about not getting in earlier this week, say they are at least encouraged by the organization taking a stance on the Stefan Clark shooting. I'm proud of the Kings for what they have done to this point. To help this movement. The Kings also announced a partnership with Build Black Coalition, an activism effort Councilman Rick Jennings says he can support. I think it's an important message that everyone needs to get on board with and we strategize towards it to build black and in doing so we increase everything in Sacramento. Many fans leaving tonight's event are calling it a success. No arrests were made, no incidents reported by police. But fans coming on Saturday should be ready for similar security protocols. It's possible that when the Kings take on the Warriors, the barricades will be in place and the police will be ready.